Hello and welcome to my first episode of my Let's Play series on Glen Lethan. So, <clears throat> I have not looked at this map at all. Uh, very much a fresh map for me. I um, I haven't loaded up at all. It's the first time I've loaded it up, so I don't know what farm or fields or equipment we start with. So, it um, is very much going to be a, a first episode and a first look video for me on the on this map. All I know is this map was obviously made by Cavalier Roy. And it is a Scottish fictional map, so it's not a real farm, but it's um, based in Scotland. So, but um, I have seen some people play it, and it does look a very, very good map to um, to, to play on. So, I um, I thought, yeah, I thought I'd do a, a let's play series on it. So, without further ado, we'll hop in and. See what's what. So we have spawned at the shop, it would seem. So do we own any land? We do own some land. We've got all of the sort of that we've got. How many fields have we got? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fields. Four of them are grass, three of them are arable. That's nice, it's just up the road as well from where we're standing right now. Start with a four left at the shop, which is nice as well. Uh, if I spawn to the house, it's probably the best thing. There we go. Right, so looks like we've got a few animal pens. I don't think we start off with any animals, no, but we have got a cow barn, sheep, and a horse pasture. I guess this is the sheep pasture, yep. Yeah. fit 2,000 sheep in there, wow. Fair, fair amount. I have got um, the, um, I don't know what it's called now, but it um, allows you to have um, rams and different things like that, so I have got that mod installed. I'm just going to edit the settings, bear with me. Okay, so it does look like so we actually do start with quite a fair bit of equipment, which is uh, really, really nice. Yes, we must have a John Deere combine. Yep, <laughs> right behind me. So that's nice. Got a decent combine to start with as well, which is good. Plenty of shed space, it would seem, as well. Got lots of equipment, which is nice. A lot, a lot of equipment. Some of, not all of this I will need to be fair. Um, some bits we will sell. This is our horse pasture. That's good. Open that, which is nice. So yeah, I, I don't tend to do horses, but we might um, might end up doing them on this uh, on this map. Bale storage, pallet storage, which is good. Stone picker lime. Very nice. Yeah, very, very good. So, I think if we have a look at our fields. See if anything needs harvesting. Two of our arable fields are ready to harvest. So, they are both wheat. So, what we'll do is. I'm going to sell a few different bits of equipment to begin with. Um, we'll keep those. Um, I don't think I'm going to do ram bales, so we'll sell that. Uh, and that. I don't think I will need that low loader either, so we'll also sell that. Um, trailers. We'll sell that and get a different trailer. We'll sell the car because I've got another car in mind as well. Um, I think that's probably it for the moment. Yeah, I think I'm uh, happy with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to purchase another trailer. 
along in my mod folder. We're going to go with this one. Uh, I am going to change the color to a nice blue. Put a cover on it. Uh, yeah, well, it was that beacon. Put ladders on it. Yeah, we'll have mud guards on. Yep, wide tires. Yep, I think I'm happy with that. Not gonna have a plate on it, but it's nice we've got Scottish um plates. I mean we'll buy that. <laughs> I don't believe we've got a loan. No, which is good. So what we'll do is we'll hook this up. I am just gonna quickly put um wide tires on this wherever our workshop is if we have one of course we may not no it's looking like we probably haven't got a workshop Which is no problem, so we're going to need a workshop anyway to repair our machines. So, if we have a look where we can put it. Around here might be a good place. Um, tools. I think if I do this one. Um see where we can put it could put it uh, I think round here was probably quite a good place I think if we put it here that'll fit quite nicely there there we go and we'll put some wide tyres on this yeah, I like this tractor with wide tyres on. I think I haven't used this before, but I think you leave it there. There we go. Might as well repair it. Customise. We'll put GPS on it as well. That's fine. And then we want wide tyres. That's going to cost us 31, nearly 32,000. There we go. Looks much better with uh, wider tyres on. So yeah, we'll get these fields harvested. I have obviously got um, precision farming on, so I suppose another cost as well, which we'll need to do, is purchase the soil information for each of these fields. They all look not too bad build 34 isn't the best we've got some silty clay in there um yeah that's fine we purchased them as well still got plenty of money left though which is good we'll hook this trailer up thought blue for scotland that would uh, fit quite well Take the cover off. Just reverse this back here. And then what I'll do... We'll grab the fence. And we'll uh, take the combine header to the first field. Might find some uh, different places at some point to uh, store different pieces of equipment. Uh, this would be quite a good um, bale shed. But we'll obviously we'll see. Um, right, so where we are going to our first field. We want to go out the yard at the top, I think it would look like. 
So if we go this way. This is the way we go. Obviously the hedges have got to collision, so <laughs> he says as he gets stuck already. There we go. Yeah, lovely views on this map. Really, really nice. Right, so I believe this is one of our fields, so we might as well start with this field first. We go back over to the combine. We will need GPS on this. I think what I'll do is obviously take it round to our workshop again. Oh, as he catches it on the shed. Here we go. Customize. Okay, we want GPS on this. Perfect. So I think bail wise, obviously we will bail the straw. I'm thinking of doing um, Eston bales. So I might end up I'm trying to think if we need anything pallet wise up here. I suppose we could put, we could store the wool in there. So we perhaps won't delete that, but um, could maybe store bales in here. So that, although it would be quite a good bale shed, it's not. Obviously, we're going to want a lot of uh, different bales, so. But, uh, yeah, <clears throat> Heston Bears is what I'm going to plan on doing. Yeah, I'm loving the uh, the views. Very, very nice. I should have crop destruction off. Which I have. They, these fields I mean yeah, I'm not expecting any great yields off them so we'll obviously we'll see how we go go collect everything up unfold uh, we should have Straw enabled, which I think we have. We'll turn her on. And off we go. Perfect. I think as well, judging from the size of the grain storage that we've got we should be able to store quite a fair amount of grain in this one so 800 see how much that will store in here it was that one yeah so eight eight hundred thousand liters is what we'll store in that so plenty of uh, crop will be able to store plenty of grain But uh, yes, I have got um, Maze Plus installed as well on uh, on this map. So we've got um, everything running. I'm hoping to play quite realistic like I usually play. So I'm hoping to do um, tram lines and things like that. So well, it's a big old uh, dip on this field. Proper Scottish hills. Yeah, the last time I played a Cavalier Roy map would have been 
Maple Farm, I believe. And that was a great map. That was um, really, really well done. I think that was the first modded map I played for FS22. Was at Maple Farm. There we go. So I think we'll probably go around the field at least twice, possibly three times, just to give us enough room to turn on the headlands and not get uh, caught on the hedges. There we go. Turn around here. I don't think we're doing too bad, to be honest. Um, yeah, boys, considering it hasn't really had much done to the field. Let's have a look on the chart. It's um, darkish orange, so it's not red. We're probably getting about, I'd say, 60% yield off the field. Just, just that bit over 50%, so not too bad at all. We've nearly done a second headland. <clears throat> We're nearly getting full now, so I think I will go around a, a third time. I am going to unload the combine before we do go around a third time. Just do this last run here. And then we'll uh, go and grab the John Deere and the grain trailer. And we will empty it. And pop the pipe out. So we want John Deere. First time using this trailer, to be fair, as well. I've had this trailer downloaded for a while. Um, I thought it was um, quite a nice trailer. I thought it'd be uh, worthwhile using. I thought it would fit this map quite well, also. Okay, so if you unload this. I don't know if this will fill the trailer up completely or not. I don't think it will, but it could do. Holds uh, more than you think this trailer. Might uh, fill it up to 50%. Which will still be alright, because that means we can uh, unload the combine twice. Yeah, nearly, nearly 50%, so that's um, that's all right. Park it over here. And we'll hop back in the combine. We are going to need to do quite a bit of work on these fields. <clears throat> Lime spreading and plowing. If I have a look, I bet, um, I bet they do need plowing. Yeah, just field 30, which has got corn on isn't going to need plowing so one thing we could do is if this map has got a bakery on it we could make this wheat into flour and then make bread is one possible thing we could do obviously making um making bread and whatnot it does bring in a decent amount of money in so so yeah i've worked it out the flour mill is ninety six thousand, and the bakery is fifty thousand, which would come to hundred and forty six thousand. so with our finances as they are at the moment we could buy both and make bread so I think that is probably what we're going to do. So obviously selling wheat just as the grain, it's not worth as much um, as if we were going to sell it, you know, make it into flour and then make it into bread. 
That's why I think that would be um, a very, very good idea to do that. Seeing as that we've got the money as well to buy both productions, I think it would be uh, would be worthwhile. Yeah, we're doing well with this field. We've just gone around three times pretty much now, which is good. We will empty the combine again. Just while we're at this end. We're going to start going across the field now. But uh, yes, the bakery is just down here. So our farm's here. It's just down the road. And then the flour mill is just there. So they're in, you know, decent distance of each other, which is good. So I think um, it would be quite a good, uh, quite a good idea to do that. <coughs> maximize our profits there we go got gps all set up running well yeah it's going it's going well this uh, combine i don't think i believe i've used this combine for fs22 so far well, i might have done but it was a long time ago now so it's quite nice to have a bit of a bit of a go with it. I split the field up. Go just in here. Like so. Lovely job. There we go. Made a good start, I think, on this map. And we're getting a good plan together as well, which is always good. There we go. So we're just finishing up this field. I won't be able to unload the combine fully. Obviously, because the trailer's nearly full. But um, <clears throat> it won't matter too much. Obviously, the field next door that's ready to harvest is um, also wheat. Is there an open gateway at the bottom of this field? Doesn't look like it, no. But yeah, what I, I am going to purchase the flour mill, the grain mill. And we are going to make it into flour and then bread. I have decided. We'll park this here. Hop in the John Deere. There we go. Nearly 16 tons in one trailer. Very nice. And yeah, what I'm going to do is we're going to head to the, uh, like I said, we're going to head to the grain mill. <coughs> we are going to purchase it and then tip this in there to make it into flour. So I'll uh, see you up there. There we go, so we're just approaching the grain mill. Just up here on the right hand side. Just here. Take the cover off. Right, so we will purchase it. 96,000. Yep. The purchase of field for 96,000. We go in the game menu now. <clears throat> so, we'll deactivate all the others because obviously we're only doing wheat. Materials are missing, but obviously we are um, 
going to be doing wheat anyway, so that's not a uh, problem. Just looking at the others. 15 for 19. 30 for 23. I think wheat is the best one. Cheapest. Yeah, got the most cycles a month. 14. Yeah, so I think wheat is definitely the best, uh, best one to go with. So, we'll tip it in here. That's interesting, there's no um, animation for grain coming out of the trailer. We may have to do, swap this trailer out then. <laughs> we'll see how we go with that anyway. But uh, yeah, if we go in the menu again now, change that. 15.8 tons, we should hopefully start uh, making some flour, which would be good. But um, yes, that is where I'm going to end today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed watching. If you have, as always, please remember to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel as well, and uh, you've enjoyed the episode, please consider hitting the subscribe button as well. And I'll hopefully see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Bye, guys.